In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can factor sums and difference of cubes. The formula for a sum and difference of cubes can become quite confusing. So let's see if we can break it down and look at how they compare. Whether it's a sum or difference of cubes, the setup is still the same. We'll first be interested in identifying the cube root of each terms as a and b for both of these problems. The formula tells us that we have a binomial, or two terms, multiplied by a trinomial, or three terms. The binomial is easy to fill in. We just fill it in with the a and b that we just found, those roots. For the trinomial, we'll start by squaring the first term. In the middle, we multiply them together, a times b, and at the end, we square the last term, b squared. The only thing left to do on these formulas, and the only thing that's different between the sum and difference of cubes, is the signs. As we fill them in, a nice hint to help us is to think of the word soap. If you can remember soap, both these formulas become the same formula. The s tells me to use the same sign as the problem. In this first example, it's a plus. In the second example, the same sign as the problem would be minus. O stands for opposite sign. In this first problem, the opposite of plus is minus, and in the second example, the opposite of minus is plus. A stands for always plus to finish out the formula. Let's take a look at how this works out with some real problems. Our first example we're asked to factor is m cubed minus 27. When I see that cubed, I'm thinking about the cube's formula. The cube root of m cubed is just m, and the cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 to the 3rd power is 27. Now that I know the roots, I'm ready to build my binomial and trinomial factors. The binomial is easy to fill in with those two roots I just found, m and 3. To fill in the trinomial, we square the first one, m squared, multiply them together, 3m, and then square the last term, 3 squared is 9. Finally, to fill in the signs, I think about soap. S stands for same sign as the problem, or minus. O is the opposite sign of the problem, which is plus, and AP stands for always positive. I have factored m cubed minus 27 to m minus 3 times m squared plus 3m plus 9. If we were to multiply this out to check it, we would end up with m cubed minus 27. Let's try one more example. 125p cubed plus 8r cubed. The cubes get me thinking about the cubes formula. The cube root of 125p cubed is 5p because 5 to the 3rd is 125. The cube root of 8r cubed is 2r, because 2 to the 3rd is 8. I'm now ready to make my binomial and trinomial factors. The binomial is easy, as I just stick those roots I just found, 5p and 2r. In the trinomial, we start by squaring 5p. 5, 5 squared is 25p squared. Then we multiply them together. 5p times 2r is 10pr. Finally, I square the 2r to get 4r squared. All that's left is filling in the signs as I think about soap. S stands for same sign as the problem, or plus. O is the opposite sign of the problem, or minus, and AP is always plus. And we've now factored our polynomial to 5p plus 2r times 25p squared minus 10pr plus 4r squared. Cubes is a trickier formula, but once you get the pattern, they factor quickly.